Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back on our YouTube account and we are going to be looking at the best of the best. We're going to be going through the top SSS tier heroes that we have in this game and also showing you the build out to really put in there. Now, of course, when it comes to the top tier, these are the heroes that are the biggest priority. When it comes to time emblems, when it comes to Stargazer Scrolls, they are the absolute biggest priority heroes within AFK Arena. And I'll tell you exactly why we're building them out. And of course, how we're gonna build them out. Now, looking at our first one in the top tier, it is Liberta. Liberta is the absolute highest utility hero that we do have in AFK Arena. He is used everywhere. There is not a game mode that does not include Liberta. Even on the PvP aspect, it is kind of crazy the damage this hero can put out. Power Creep hasn't really affected this hero, but looking at a very basic build, it is having the hero. Having the hero unlocked does make a big difference. Utility-wise, early game, definitely gonna have a lot of utility. When you think about maximing this hero out or getting to the optimal build for this hero, because this hero is a support hero, but this hero is also a primary damage dealing hero. So looking, and again, this is how we're gonna break them down. Plus 40 signature item. This is where you wanna get the hero, increases the effect of blessing orbs and punishing orbs. This of course is going to amplify the damage. When it comes to heroes, big picture AFK arena, this is one of the big priority heroes to build up to this plus 40 signature item. Looking at the furniture, nine of nine is really all that you need here. Now, of course, um, after Liberta uses a forced equilibrium, there is a reset on there. Nine of nine in here, of course, very important as well when you look and changing out the ratios. And this is where fighting alongside Lucila does make a little bit of a difference when you think of different game modes and why they're run together like peanut butter and jelly working incredibly well. Now, when it comes to the engraving, the engraving on this hero goes to a 67 engraving. So not only, again, based on this hero being a damage dealer, you want to overbuild the hero. So plus 60 um, engraving is gonna make a big difference. When you think of prioritizing this hero, it is these nodes right over here. Haste is the number one priority that you do wanna build up a little bit further, followed by the Magical Pierce. Magical Pierce, of course, is gonna allow the hero to do a lot of additional damage. And then building out this node right here, which is the attack node. So essentially with the attack node, you'll put in five extra points. You'll pull one more point right here into haste, one more point into magical pierce. That will take you to that 67 that we see with this hero. So again, ultimate build or where you wanna prioritize this hero, getting the hero built up to is a 40 signature item, nine of nine furniture, and an E67 engraving, which I know is pretty big. Now you'll also notice on here that I did an E80 engraving. The reason being when you're building out these heroes as primary damage dealers, as really best in slot in a bunch of different game modes, building them up a little bit further gives them a huge, huge advantage when it comes to PVP, which is the reason why we built them out to 80 to actually unlock and get that Endeavor ability. The second one we're gonna look at is of course the Awakened version of Shmira. Now her a little bit different build in here, a little bit less of a build, but overall still important when it comes to the Awakened version of Shmira, plus 40 signature item. When enchanted, torture soul abilities to destroy the target's energy is increased to 300. She lives on the energy destruction. When you think of Pharrell, when you think of Lady Simona, the ability to remove and destroy energy is a game changer when it comes to a lot of game modes including the PVP aspect. If you can nullify energy, the enemy team cannot ult, making it very important. And again, optimal build in this one. The N, nine of nine furniture, of course, a big priority. If you wanna take her higher to that nine of nine, she is based on hit points. That is a big, big difference factor that we see with these heroes. You wanna build her HP out a lot higher. And of course, looking at the build on her with the engraving, it is very similar. So this engraving, we are taking her to a 66. But again, based on the way this hero is built, we are gonna focus on hit points. So when we think of the nodes and looking in here, that is defense, there is HP. You will put another five points into HP, which takes her to 65. The 66 point comes with the attack speed that she does possess, which is right over here, AS attack speed. So again, optimal build for her is gonna take her to a plus 40 signature item that nine of nine furniture, and then going up to that 66 engraving, making her a big priority. Again, utility-wise, the hero is being used everywhere across the board in the Nightmare Corridor, the Treasure Scramble, the Curse Realm, being used in a multitude of game modes. Now, the next hero we look at is the Awakened version of Athelia. 
And you can kind of see the common theme of the heroes that I built and why I built them up to that point. When you think of Athalia, she is another, again, very, very big build, very big priority hero within AFK Arena. Plus 40 signature item, absolutely building out of here. The number of slashes increased to two times, so she is getting a double slash right there. Furniture goes to the nine of nine, of course. When you start looking again, Awakened Heroes, they require a very big build out, a 30960 at a very, very minimum. The reason being, if you do not build them up and if you do not build them up very high, they're gonna be missing a lot of the skills and abilities that these heroes do possess, making it a real game changer when you're building them out. Now again, with that nine of nine furniture engraving, very similar to the other two, the engraving that you wanna get on here is 68, focused again on the attack rating, which is this middle node. And then these left nodes are pretty much the attack nodes. The right nodes are the defense nodes. We are taking it to a 68 in here, which focuses on the crit damage amplification, the crit rate there, then of course the attack. And I believe this bottom node is crit as well, which brings it to 68. So you'll put five in the attack. It'll be six right there with crit damage amplification, seven with the crit, and eight with the crit, taking her to 68 in the entirety. And again, a huge hero to build out. Now, a lot of players ask, what hero should I build out first? When it comes to the Awakened Heroes, it is Athelia would be my number one priority, followed by the Awakened version of Shamira, and then probably Laika at that point. But when you start thinking of Lucius, when you think of Iran, when you think of a lot of other heroes, might not have the same utility as of yet, but again, they are being utilized in a lot of different game modes. Now, of course, the next hero goes into the hypos, which is looking at Lucila. Now, Lucila Liberta, of course, really big priority. Lucila is one that you want to build, and you're going to build her out pretty high as well. Her, unfortunately, you don't need the 40 signature item. You can keep her at a 30, which is the reason we have her at a 30 here. 40 could help a little bit, but overall, um, it, it doesn't make a big difference. Now, a lot of players built out the 40 with her. And when they built out the 40, it shows both Lucila and her silhouette increased damage. She doesn't do a lot of damage. Even building this out to a plus 40, giving her some additional stats, Lucila doesn't do a lot of damage and she's not really utility-wise for a lot of damage. She has the ability to survive through multiple deaths, which is huge on there. But again, damage-wise, she is not the biggest priority. When it comes to the N, nine of nine is awesome. Every time she takes damage, her silhouette will appear and use full moon against the attacker. Again, allowing her to do a little bit of damage, but overall you want the stats that you're picking up with the furniture. And then of course the engraving. For her, you're looking at a 60 like we have right here. You could go to a 65, you could build it up a little bit higher just based on the attack, which some players do, I believe right here is the attack node. So some players do build it up to a 65, but honestly, when you look at the hero, it is more of a basic build, a plus 30 signature item, the nine of nine furniture, and then the 60 engraving will do incredibly well with Lucila and really a good, good build out there. Now, of course, looking at our next one, we go into our um, Celestials, which is Damia. Again, looking here, plus 40 signature item with Damia does incredibly well. You could do a 30 if you don't have the mats because she's not the number one priority, but a plus 40 signature item in here does make a little bit of a difference with the ability right here. Damage dealt by enemies within Damia's half of the battlefield is reduced by 60%. So you do get an extra 10% damage reduction, which again, really big in that PvP aspect. Now building up the furniture, of course, nine of nine, all of these are gonna require it. If you wanna build the, the heroes out higher, you absolutely can. And with her, we're doing the same. We're going to a 67 engraving. As you can see, that's what we have built right out here. So not just the 60, but taking it a little higher. And again, looking at the magical pierce that we have in here, looking at double magical pierce, and then the attack are what you're building her out. You want the magical pierce first, then the attack, getting her to a 67. And again, these are the top tier heroes within AFK Arena. They are the ones that are gonna require the biggest build that we have when it comes to these heroes. And of course, looking at a superstar, which is Lava Tune, the absolute rock star. Now with him, most players do build him out. You can keep him at a 30. Some players and most players do build him out to a 40. The Sonic Wave of Inferno Echo reset the duration of Power Metal and its effect on the allies. So you can actually keep this up a lot longer because of the plus 40, which again, 
can make a little bit of difference. If you can only build to a 30, you're gonna be good there. Furniture, of course, going to that nine of nine again. We wanna get this as soon as possible with Lava Tomb really does make a difference. And we get into the engraving for him. We actually take him again to that 67, focusing on that attack node. Now, one thing to note is a majority of these heroes, a majority of the support heroes in here, their skills are based on attack. That is the reason why we do build this up a little bit further is the attack is the game changer for a majority of heroes because that is where their skills are based. And then of course we have haste and we have insight in here are the other two that I built out. So again, focusing on this now, of course, when you think of this hero itself, um, a lot of crowd control goes around a lot of different game modes. That is the reason why we took him to a 67. Haste and attack is really all that you need um, if you wanted to take him to a 66. So getting five right here, one more with the haste, but I did build him with a little bit more insight. And the reason being, again, that crowd control aspect. And the final hero that we're going to look at, of course, old tried and true that we are loving, which is the awakened version of Leica again. This hero is based on damage. The more damage you build, the higher you build this hero, the better she is gonna perform. Similar to Athelia, similar to Liberta, the higher the damage, the bigger build. Now on her, plus 40 signature item all day long. This is where you want, you'll see, um, increases the, the, um, the bonus that is in there to 40%, but changes the maximum to five. This is a game changer when it comes to damage that she's putting out. The plus 40 signature item, absolutely. The N, nine of nine, of course, just like we normally see. Engraving, you wanna go to 66. Now in here, it is gonna be the attack. It is gonna be the physical pierce, which right here is our attack node. And then of course, both of these are physical pierce. So you're gonna have our crit right there. So physical pierce and crit, and I believe this one might be crit. So building those out, and again, we did take her to an 80, but you wanna focus on the attack and you wanna focus on the physical pierce to build her to a 66. So taking the attack, and then uh, this one is the physical pierce. So you could build those two. I did add the extra crit on there um, with the other stars, but again, we are talking optimal build in here is getting the physical pierce. So boosting this up is of course gonna allow Leica to do more damage overall for the very, very top tier. And of course, collections, guys. When you think about physical pierce, right here, we're adding what, 16, 17 and a half, a lot, that is 17 and a half percent more damage on top of the collection abilities that we have in here. Now, of course, a lot of players ask, what collection do I use on a hero? If only it was that easy. When it comes to these heroes, depending on the game mode they're running, um, the collections will adjust and the collections will change. There are a lot of collections that are a lot more tuned, a lot more nature towards the PVP aspect. There's a lot of them that are the Cursed Run, the Nightmare Corridor, a lot of the the levels and a lot of the damage that you can scale very, very high. But again, depending on the hero, depending on the game mode you're using the hero in, that is where we do see a multitude of collections. So all right, guys, I hope it helped out a little bit. Again, we are covering our top tier SSS heroes in AFK Arena. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.